Hello viewers, in the previous three videos I explained the basic concept of capitu Fabrizio fractional derivative and in this video I am going to calculate the capitu Fabrizio fractional derivative of x to the power n. Okay, since we know that the definition is from a to x of order alpha of capitu Fabrizio of some function f of x is equal to m of alpha over 1 minus alpha integral from a to x e raised to power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha and f prime of t dt okay with the usual notations m of 0 and m of 1 both are equal to 1 and alpha is between 1 0 and 1 okay for this notation for this in order to calculate this derivative I will first find the derivative of x to the power 1 but before I will take m of alpha is equal to 1 and a is equal to 0 and n of course equal to 1 okay what happens when I take these assumptions so this is just capital Fabrizio from 0 to x of order alpha of x to the power 1 which is now equal to m of alpha which is 1 1 over 1 minus alpha now it is 0 to x e raised to power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha into derivative of f of t which is t and whose derivative is just 1 so it is just 1 into dt it's very simple we just need to calculate this integral which is 1 over 1 minus alpha and its integral is e to the power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha and then the derivative of the power function with respect to t so x will be 0 so it's minus minus positive so it's alpha over 1 minus alpha and then we have to take its limit from t from 0 to t x okay this becomes 1 over 1 minus alpha and we can switch this one 1 minus alpha over alpha and when t is equal to x in the in the in the power of exponential function it becomes 0 so everything becomes 1 and when t is 0 this becomes when t is 0 it's minus alpha over 1 minus alpha into x okay one more step this factor cancel out so i am left with 1 over alpha 1 over alpha minus 1 over alpha e raised to power minus alpha over 1 minus alpha into x this is the capitu Fabrizio derivative of x of order alpha from 0 to x okay now i will increase the power of x and now instead of taking n1 i am taking n is equal to 2 okay this means i am going to calculate the capitu Fabrizio fractional derivative from 0 to x of order alpha of x to the power 2 and by definition it is 1 over 1 minus alpha 0 to x e to the power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha and f prime so here f of x is equal to x squared so f of t will be t squared whose derivative is 2t dt okay i can shift to outside 2 over 1 minus alpha and from inside i need to take the integration by parts taking t as u function and this exponential as dv function so i need to taking the u as it is so t will remain as this and i take the integral of this function which is e to the power minus alpha x minus t over 1 minus alpha and the derivative of this power function will be alpha over 1 minus alpha and then we have to calculate this limit from 0 to x and then minus integral 0 to x I need to do this step again e to the power minus alpha into 1 minus into x minus t over 1 minus alpha and over alpha over 1 minus alpha 
and the derivative of this function t which is just 1 and dt. Okay. Now it becomes 2 over 1 minus alpha and I can I can switch this in the numerator so it becomes 1 minus alpha over alpha and inside I need to apply, apply this limit on t. So when t is x this becomes x and here since t is x the power of exponential function becomes 0 so everything is 1 so multiply by 1 minus lower limit when t is 0 everything is 0. Okay now minus I can put this outside this is 1 minus alpha over alpha and then integral 0 to x e raised to power minus alpha into x minus t over 1 minus alpha into dt. Okay fine. Now I need to multiply this function inside here and here. So this I will get 2 over 1 minus alpha into 1 minus alpha over alpha into x and then minus this function times this function 2 over 1 minus alpha 1 minus alpha over alpha and then integral from 0 to x e raised to power minus alpha into x minus t over 1 minus alpha into dt. Okay, a bit simplification. This factor cancels out. So, I am left with 2 over x and minus. Okay, from here I can write I can write 2 over 2 over 2 into okay 2 into 1 minus alpha over alpha so this 2 here and this whole factor is here so I am left with this one so I can write this as 1 over 1 minus alpha this factor and then integral 0 to x e raised to power minus alpha into x minus t over 1 minus alpha and then here it is I can write 1 and 1 is actually the derivative of t into dt. So this is just 1 because t prime is 1 so it is just 1. But now you can see that this portion which is in red is nothing but capital Fabrizio derivative from 0 to x of order alpha of x as we have seen previously. So now we can write it like in the closed form it is 2 over x 2 over sorry here 2 is, is sorry it is not 2 over x it, it is actually 2 over alpha alpha into x same here it is actually 2 over alpha into x minus 2 into 1 minus alpha over alpha and this thing becomes capital Fabrizio derivative of just x and on the left we have derivative of x square so this is something like recurrence relation so it, it means when we will differentiate x cube we will get derivative of x square and so on so in this pattern we can generalize but we need to figure out what these factors will be will change when we change x to the cube or 4 or so on so i will write this thing as in a little fancy way so i can write the above expression in the form of 1 over 1 minus alpha summation k from 1 to 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 so I'm writing 2 is blue 2 minus 1 and then we have here minus 1 to the power k plus 1 and then we have 2 factorial and then in the denominator I will write 2 minus k factorial it is 2 minus k factorial and then 1 minus alpha over alpha to the power k into x to the power 2 minus k. So, uh, okay, this whole thing is just equal to this first term. Okay, how you can see that. 
since summation from k1 to 2 minus 1 which is 1 so it is just only one term for k is equal to 1 okay when k is 1 minus 1 have power 2 which is even so it will be positive as you can see there okay here 2 factorial over 2 minus k k is 1 so 2 minus 1 factorial which is 1 so 2 factorial is 2 so this is 2 here 1 minus alpha over alpha to the power k which is 1 so it is just 1 minus alpha over alpha and this 1 minus alpha cancel out this factor so on left alpha in the denominator which is here and here x to the power 2 minus k k is 1 so it is 2 minus 1 so it, it will generate only x which is here so this first term can be done in this nice way because in this way we can figure out what the next term would be okay in the similar way then the last term would be equal to it is plus minus 1 to the power k plus 1 sorry k minus 1 and then we have 2 factorial 2 factorial Two factorial and we have 1 minus alpha over alpha to the power 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 and then we have capital Fabrizio derivative from 0 to x of order alpha of the function x so this is capital Fabrizio derivative of order alpha of x here and now you can see that all the twos can be changed so if we differentiate x cube since here it was 2 so everything were 2 so if we take here x cube we can switch these 2's with 3 and if we differentiate x to the power 4 we can switch to from 4 and so on so in the end we can have a general formula a general formula capital Fabrizio derivative from 0 to x of order alpha of x to the power n which is 1 over 1 minus alpha summation from k1 to n minus 1 minus 1 to the power k plus 1 n factorial over n minus k factorial 1 minus alpha over alpha to the power k into x to the power n minus k and then plus minus 1 to the power k minus 1 into n factorial and 1 minus alpha over alpha to the power n minus 1 with capital Fabrizio derivative of of x so here it will just x because we will keep differentiating until we get x of order alpha of course so this is the formula this is the fractional capital Fabrizio derivative of x to the power n and one can show by using mathematical induction that this indeed true for any positive values of 